What's going on everyone? It's your girl Cookie back at it with another YouTube video. Today we are going to be looking at a new preview that was dropped for the quarry and you already know we had to watch this but before we get into the video be sure to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you could be part of the crumb squad and let's get into it. So I honestly thought that we saw whatever that was needed to see before this game actually drops, and I am so excited to see what the hell. A group of teenage camp is counselors play dropped. Truth or Dare, and the game almost immediately turns to dares that send one member of the group to kiss on. Oh, they have it's the London last night Tiffin? Camp, and the counselors are stranded until morning, making this the last opportunity songs. to make any sparks fly. Like nearly every teen horror movie. Just as soon as the relationships start to form and the kids start to get comfortable, too. the screaming begins. Yeah. Maybe it was the bears. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. For the quarry, the latest story-driven horror game from Supermassive Games, the somewhat predictable setup is partially an homage to 80s era horror and teen slash movies. Did they show these people? Like I don't think they did. Street, Halloween, and of course, Friday the 13th. It's also partially a case of Ooh. not fixing something that isn't broken. In fact, a lot of the glory will be familiar to anyone who's played Supermassive's other games. 2015's Until Dawn. Okay, because I literally just said that. The Dark Pictures anthology series. Supermassive has a pretty specific formula that works for its brand of cinematic adventure game, and it doesn't deviate from it with The Quarry. Meaning they that always if you do like so its good. other games, you should have a fun time with this one. Uh, oh my god! Oh. What? The Quarry sees you playing out the story of the counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, with your perspective oh. shifting between the so like Friday the 13th scene vibes? Scene. You make decisions for the characters in the scenes you control them, choosing between different possible dialogue lines, or making calls like who to kiss. When your inevitable dare moment comes Who'd up, kiss? Oh. the game tracks those choices about to kiss and everyone, how they might bro. change the flow of the plot or affect the relationships between characters, which you can view in various menus to see how the path you're taking through the story Dang, is Dang, just look at up. the details okay. for the face. Oh Damn you, ads. Oh my god. That Damn, you sweaty. Got a hell of a spread. Be careful. We played about an hour of The Quarry, seeing a little bit of two of its early chapters. Like Supermassive's other titles, choice is a big element of the proceedings. Mm -hmm. Not every decision will create a massive shakeup to the story. <sighs> what a good but even drop that a few was. Different dialogue choices in the small portion we played made notable differences in relationships or scenes that we saw play out. Also, as in Supermassive's other games, The Quarry has its share of action sequences in which you need to watch and react to what's happening on screen, matching your button presses to the prompts that appear as Man. part of the action. Quick time yeah. events have I been a staple die. of Supermassive's games since Until Dawn, so this isn't a surprise, although the ones we saw in The Quarry feel simplified in comparison to some of the developers' past games. QTEs are often maligned because they can be a real pain to deal with, often giving players too little remember. time to react to prompts I think I did finish this one, I don't remember. Failures. In The Quarry, QTEs seem to be made pretty easy to deal with, alleviating that frustration. As with past games, Personally, House of QTEs Ashes was my least favorite one. Change how the narrative I still haven't out, finished that one because I was like, like Supermassive has casual players in mind as well as hardcore fans of its titles, making playing the game comfortable even for people who might have a harder time handling a controller. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Dang. Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby. I cannot remember what movie he's from. Where the quarry breaks a bit with Supermassive's usual me. approach is having a slightly heavier emphasis on combat mechanics, specifically on shooting firearms. Usually, Supermassive's games are all contextual. While there might be moments that could be called combat, like firing a gun or struggling with an enemy, they're usually just additional oh, no. QTEs. The quarry suggests oh. it'll emphasize those moments a little more than usual. Oh, Even I have to have a aim? quick combat video tutorial Damn it. to teach you how to use firearms in the game. Why he look like Cole Sprouse? Wait, do you Nick? Is that the portion we yeah. played included a scene in which a couple of characters have a shooting contest. I just with keep a thinking of Sweet Life. Is that Cody? Included a moment in which we could shoot at a he bonus look, looks character like him, in a moment. How well you shoot, or whether you shoot at all is as consequential as other gameplay interactions or decisions, 
and the shotgun has a wide spread, so it becomes pretty ineffective at long ranges, and might risk you hitting something or someone you didn't mean to if you fire it at the wrong time. Still, even though there's more focus on shooting than in past games, you probably I can't wait to see what happens after this. Quarry to be that moment was so intense. A lot. In the scene we what saw, the shooting is really another decision point opportunity, pushing you to act fast in order to do any damage with the shotgun when you have the opportunity to use it, or to consider whether you should resist pulling the trigger instead. Oh, <gasps> by the way, for anyone that <laughs> watched my first video, that part right here, <laughs> I realized that, yes, it was the light that was glowing. That's why his ear was freaking glowing. I realized that after I watched it, I was like, what the fuck? Why did I say, why is his ear glowing? <laughs> Anyways, I just have to say that. It, or to consider whether you should resist pulling the trigger instead. If you've played the other supermassive games, all of this is pretty much to be expected. As mentioned, these elements have all proven to work well to create scary, cinematic experiences, and supermassive always puts a big emphasis on player choice and player success and failure. That's why I like it. Stories. So it's I possible love choice-based games. Distinct pathways through its past games, depending on what you decide to do along the way. That seems like it'll hold true for the quarry as well. Although our preview didn't quite give enough of a look to really see how decisions will cascade or relationships will affect. Damn, the where is he plot. from? It, it is, is gonna bother uh, me, bro. It's spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural. So, was he yeah, in a I'm Disney Channel that. thing too? What was clear, however, is I that the story nails the feel of the movies, <gasps> in which it's drawing most no. of its inspiration. The game is popular. He was on Netflix. A lot of fun, well oh my god. Characters with possibly the most star-studded and the New York. cast yet oh my God. in one of these games. I remember. The performances in the previous game could name. have been some relatively hackneyed teenage drama feel organic and relatable. Hey, don't let the cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> what? So, Was that a disc? That too, huh? The entire game is also presented as if you're playing it on an old 1990s PC and watching scenes poorly recorded on VHS tapes. When you make a key decision that will affect the plot, for instance, things slow down for a moment. The picture tracking skews as if the heads of your tape player were a bit dirty, and the pixelated words Path Chosen appear in the font that used to be emblematic so cool. to VHS players on screen menus. Those small visual throwbacks to movies and media of the past are a nice, unobtrusive touch that do a lot to help sell that classic slasher feel. You want to scare the clothes? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? The quarry feels a lot mm. like Until Dawn in all the ways that make that game a lot of scary fun. You've got your teen Until character Dawn drama, was so your good. sticky burgeoning relationships, and your inevitable gruesome murders. All the elements that make teen horror stories like this work. We didn't get a chance to see any of the features that could make the quarry stand out from Supermassive's other games, such as the movie mode that allows you to make general choices about the story ahead of time and then just watch hmm. them play out without general. interacting. But the familiar elements general and stories. of the developer titles and the movies that inspire them all still work as well as they did seven years ago, which make the quarry seem like it'll be a fun, if slightly more casual, teen horror romp through dark woods filled with vicious creatures. So like Friday the 13th, that's what I'm getting the vibes from. All right, well, we are gonna call it there. I'm so excited for this game. Oh, only, I think only a week or two more that we have. And yo, you already know, I am definitely gonna play this game. So if you actually wanna catch me playing this game, come follow me on my Twitch. And um, yeah, I will play it there. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.